Now, before you schedule your trip, there's some important information that I need to share with you. For instance, Hanama Bay recently started restricting the number of visitors, turning away thousands of people every day. So please watch this video to the end and I will tell you everything you need to know to ensure that not only you get into the park, but that you also have a great time. So let's get started. Today we have the pleasure of visiting the famous Hanama Bay. We're gonna get in the water and do some snorkeling. Hopefully see some interesting creatures, uh, maybe some monk seals, uh, sharks, hopefully eels, things like that. So uh, let's get in.
Okay, we just finished up at Panama Bay. Unfortunately, we didn't get to spend as much time there as I wanted, but I think I'm pretty happy with the animals we saw there. I think it's better than it's been in past years. I think it's important to note that the total time we spent snorkeling was only about 45 minutes due to a previously scheduled appointment. In the future, I'll make sure we spend at least five hours at Hanama Bay. We were told as we entered the park that a hammerhead shark and a Hawaiian monk seal had been hanging around recently. Unfortunately, we did not see them. Once again, I wish we had more time. So here's the information I promised. Hanama Bay is located on the southeast side of Oahu. This popular attraction gets thousands of visitors per day. But recently, they've started to only allow 3,000 visitors each day. I know that sounds like a lot, but Hanama Bay used to get over 10,000 visitors a day. The cost to get in is only $7.50 per person, but it's free if you're a local, active military, or 12 or younger. Parking is only $1, but there's only 300 parking spots, so you need to arrive early, like before 7.30 a.m. Though, shuttle service is available. The park is open 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., but it's usually calmer in the morning. The park is also closed on Tuesdays to give the fish a day off. I recommend bringing your own snorkeling gear because the cost to rent is $20 and sometimes they run out. That would suck. Also, please do what you can to protect the reef. I recommend wearing a rash guard or a shirt and only buy reef safe sunscreen. The good news is, is that the state's plan to restore Hanama Bay seems to be working. As you can see from my short video, the fish are back. It was like jumping into a giant fish bowl. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. For more great videos like this, please hit the subscribe button below and ring that little bell.